just wanted to welcome you to our new series. We're gonna start doing some reviews of products of all kinds of for outdoor pursuits, a lot of them that we already use and have on the boat and are upgrading and why they've been invaluable to our lives. We're also trying out some new fun things that mm -hmm. you'll see um, and hopefully how it'll make boat life a little bit easier, a little bit more stress free. Yeah, and some of these things will be very specific to boat life. Some will be branch off a little bit and we'll sort of assess whether it's something that we might need or use on the boat. Maybe yes, maybe no, or what its best purpose uh, might be. Today we're starting with reviewing our brand new Funwater paddle boards. Uh, we did own a Funwater board before and we really, really were impressed with the quality. So we decided to get two more and do some reviews on these things and they have not disappointed. What's up guys? We got some cool stuff to show you today. Namely, we got our second paddle board in. Showed you the first one we got, unboxed it and everything. So fancy. Sea turtles. Woo! And it's really pretty, look at it. All this stuff, is so nice. The details of it. And look at the fins. That's not just your average little black plastic fin. You got everything you need and room for much other stuff. To the beach! And this is the second. Took a while to get everything to come together. Ready to go test out some paddle boards? Zeke's ready. Okay, let's go! <laughs> High five! Atta boy. Yeah, so we've got two new paddle boards that we're gonna go test out and show you. And we finally got them both. It took a little while to get the second one because of us and where we were and getting the shipping to work out. We finally got both of them. And we're gonna throw them in the water and head over to the beach bar. What better use for exercise equipment? We decided you earn your beer by paddling to shore first. Yeah, and this should And to calm this thing down. Calms. And this thing, but to a lesser extent, he's, uh, he's so he doesn't need calm down as much anymore. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna paddle in and uh, give you guys a good look at these. Use some of that energy right now. Go. These are the Ocean Protection series, which we chose just because we kind of like the message they convey. These guys have a huge line of paddle boards, and this is just one design uh, that we really liked. Some people might think that paddle boards are an accessory, like you don't really need them. And while that's true, we've lived on the boat for five years now. And I will tell you the, what, six months that we didn't have one when we were in transition. It was not, it was not fun. Ready? I'm ready. Got a dry bag. Ready, go! You ready? Um, we use them to obviously just go out and have fun. We also use it as a secondary mode of transportation in case one of us has the dinghy and the other person has to get off for whatever reason. One time uh, the lock got stuck on the dinghy <laughs> when I was in Charlotte Amalie and I had to call Eric and he was I luckily I talked to the Coast Guard and they, yeah, they got it unstuck but his he was literally like on the paddleboard by the time that I had got it unstuck yeah and that was the only way that he would have been able to get to me in rivers right. and figure out how to get it. and not even just an emergency it's nice there's no. there's so many anchorages we find ourselves in where we're we're in a pretty close reach to the the beach or dinghy dock or whatever it might be and whoever happens to be still on the boat it's just a nice getaway take rivers or take zeke in for his his walks and things like that there are a lot of places where it's really nicer just to climb on the paddleboard and go than to try to beach the dinghy or try to tie it up at some place that's really crowded especially for just a dog walk because the dog gets really sandy just need to no. get to just gotta go. <laughs> get to the beach, get the dog off the boat, yeah. and and then back on relatively cleanly and right. pain free. They're they're just one of those accessories as a cruiser we've discovered are a must for us. For us, yeah. I, I mean, I will say we've never had a kayak. We've never. No. There are 
the same level of transportations that I would say. These particular boards, one of the things that drew us to them from the previous one we had, we really like the details on these. There's so many manufacturers of SUPs out there now, they're all over the place, but the difference that I've seen is sort of in the details and the handles, the valve where you blow up the paddle board, uh, the reinforcement around it, the D-rings, these come with D-rings for lots of accessories or anything at all. They even included a backrest for one of the paddle boards, which is really cool. <laughs> it so it's like it Both takes like it, a kayak. <laughs> yeah, it kind of takes it from being like this, oh, you know, activity to just like a very chill, yeah. easy day. They come with a cool camera mount that you can just screw a camera into. Which took us way too long to figure out what that was. Ooh, yeah. But that's not the point. The, ooh, this is all about that. Is it where you can like mount a fishing pole? Then they have maybe something like that. They had one. The quality is just very high for these paddle boards, and they're a fairly inexpensive model. So, especially after our first paddle boards, which were just kind of really cheap they Amazon, were as cheap as we could get. <laughs> yeah, all the D rings. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> blew out real go. fast. So when we got them, it did come with a bunch of different accessories. I am going to say that our favorite accessory was the paddle because you make it into a double-sided paddle or the actual stand-up paddle, board paddle. How many times can I say paddle? paddle. All the time. So paddle. it's got the one side or you paddle. can switch it out and it'll have the two paddles, um, which makes it, again, really versatile. Here's a really important question for you. Is it an SUP or is it a sub? Well, it's a stand-up paddleboard, so I'm, it's an SUP. But why wouldn't you just call it a sub? I think you can. Okay. Yeah. I was just wondering if there was a consensus on which way. I generally just call it a paddleboard. There you go. Call whatever you want. I would call mine Bob. <laughs> well, what we do call ours are the Ocean Protection Series. And again, go check out funwaterboard.com and you'll see how many models they have, different sizes, different types. We went through an all-around board. It's good for everything. They're very stable. They're not too big, not too small. They're very buoyant, so they work well for a person and a dog or a person and a kid. Plenty fast, play maneuverable, as well as all kinds of other crazy inflatable items, chairs, and things like that. Going for the dock next. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. Uh, that would look pretty good behind the boat. <laughs> so to sum up, we just think these are such a good value, quality you get for these, especially if you're cruising on a sailboat or a powerboat, they're just a sort of invaluable asset to have on board. And these have so far lived up to everything we thought they would be. We think you should go check out funwaterboard.com and see all the different boards they have to offer. We do have an affiliate link. Uh, you'll see that down in our description. You'll get a discount and it'll help us out a little bit as well if you decide to click through that to buy your next paddle boards. We hope you've uh, enjoyed this review. There are gonna be more to come, and have a great day. Bye. Cheers. This is really cool. Where I gotta have everything in on. So this is what you get with your paddle set. A standard paddle, not with that one. Basically you have the option of doing a Standard paddle, also not with that one. What's going on? Okay, here we go. Last time. <laughs> so you get the option of doing just a standard paddle. I don't feel like that's the paddle top. What is it? Uh, Still riding. Yeah, I'm doing something. Wrong. Let me get out of the box out here first. So this, all right. That's not bad. Why is this so hard? I don't know, but that's not a very good review. <laughs>